Hey y'all, it's Shirley Maya P and welcome back to my channel. What's up you guys? How are y'all doing? Your girl's doing great. As you can see, your girl's looking quite a mess. But that is because I am about to get ready. I have to go to my little sister's dorm party. It is in an hour and I still have to go pick up some stuff. If you don't know, a dorm party is where everybody comes out. We get together and we bring all the essentials and just little things that she could use in college. Um, this is her first year in college and I'm excited for her. So yeah, I'm going to go pick up some things before I head over there. Yeah, so right now, like I said, I'm about to get ready and we'll do a little quick transition. And this will be no more of this. And just like that, we're back. <laughs> As you can see, your girl has gotten herself together. I think I'm looking pretty good. Yes, I have the same jacket on that I wore to the year's pop-up shop, but I'm just, first of all, first of all, these tank tops, if you do not have these tank tops, you're missing out. I got this these from Walmart. I have almost every color now at this point. And I got them from Walmart. They're only $2.88. So if your Walmart has these, you need to go and check them out. Because these are literally like my favorite tank tops. But anyways, I'm wearing the same jacket that I wore to Dior's pop-up shop. Just because I don't really feel comfortable with my arms just being out. And I don't really have another cover-up right now. Especially with everything still being packed up from when I moved back from Johnson City. So yeah. Um, but like I said, I'm about to go to my little sister's dorm party. I'm about to head and pick up some stuff quick i'm running a little behind took a little bit longer for me to get ready than i thought but yeah so i'm gonna put the camera down hurry up and get there and then i will see y'all when we get to the dorm party so as y'all probably seen i ended up getting mariah quite a few things i got this pillow right here in my face but i got her like pillow this little back pillow that she wanted some deodorant tissue um febreze spray all that kind of stuff body wash just the essentials that you need like when you move into an apartment you know so just the basics but it's in like this big old um basket as you can tell so yeah that's what i got her um right now i'm about to pull up to where we're having the event it's actually going to be at this hotel so i'm about to pull up there and then yeah i'll catch y'all in a bit so i switched to my phone because you know i'm about to get out and i just wanted to also say that i bought this gloss from walmart because apparently i lost my lip gloss my favorite lip gloss so i bought this from walmart it's the nyx filler instinct whatever so i bought this and i needed some gloss to go on top of my lip color so i'm gonna try this out real quick and excuse the glossiness y'all girl is sweating i mentioned it before but my car does not have good air right now we're gonna see what it's talking about but yeah i'm about to go inside the hotel for this dorm party and i'll catch you on a bit <laughs> we with the um soon to be college student here with hey. mariah <laughs> we're at her dorm party and we're just chilling waiting for everybody to get here at the moment you got anything to say grown hashtag grown out the crib oh my gosh okay <laughs> party is this? Rod Ross. Rod party. Graduation party. The graduation? Yes. I'm going to kindergarten. <laughs> the crew. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do the makeup video, but not right now because we're having a party that my mom brings me to Amy's house. Yeah. Look at my dress. Yeah, girl, that dress is cute. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Okay, yes. So thank you everyone for coming and for all your support. And just very grateful, appreciate it for you guys. And I would love for your prayers and to pray that I have a good journey and I get things done and have a good season and all. So, yeah. Woo! Guys. Go, Lady Tiger. The new Lady Tiger. Ringer. <laughs> Ringer. <laughs> All right, as y'all can see, I'm back from Mariah's dorm party. It was a big success. We had a great time. Mariah got a lot of essential things and things that she could use in college, things that she wanted. She also, what y'all seen wasn't all that she got. Apparently there was stuff delivered to the house already or people dropped it off there that couldn't make it and all that. But I showed y'all a gist of what it was before everybody got there and all that. So yeah, we had a good time. Right now, I am about to try out this new curl stuff that I bought for my hair. This is probably the first time y'all see my hair like curled. I think, I'm not sure, but yeah. So this is what I usually use for my curls. Um, the Coconut Curling Cream by Cantu. I use that. And then I just recently bought this Define and Show Custard. It's supposed to hold your curls. I have really big shrinkage issues with my curls. Like, so this hair will be down here and then end up here when it dries. So <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you other melanin ladies out there have that problem. Um, but I bought this stuff right here. It is the um, Cantu Define and Shine Custard. It's supposed to hold the curls. We will see, but I'm gonna test it right here for y'all. So, first things first, I gotta get rid of the ponytail, even though <laughs> your girl was looking all right today. I did take off my black pants and put on these yoga pants, but it's cool, you know? <laughs> my braids are also pretty old, so it's time for them to come down. I actually really need to wash my hair, but I wanted to try this out first before I wash my hair, just in case I don't like it or whatever, and then I can just wash it out my hair. So I'm gonna take these braids down, comb through my hair, and yeah, let's get this show on the road. This is the comb that I use. It is a wide tooth comb because you know your girl trying to keep all the hair in her head, you know? I'm gonna take my ponytail off. Yes, this is a ponytail if you didn't know. I, I'm sorry, it is, it's a ponytail. She's here, she's beautiful, she's lush. I got this from my local beauty supply store, you know? Actually, that's a lie. Not my local one, I went to downtown to get this because the store that I had here does not have it. I didn't check the other stores out, I just go to what I know and that's where I got this from, so yeah. And if you can hear any noise in the background, any water, the toilet or whatever, that's because I'm in the bathroom, obviously. And like, you know how like the toilet will do that little, I don't know, like where it makes that running noise, like, and then it'll stop, but then it'll do it again in some minutes. I don't know, that's what our toilet's doing and I can't do nothing about that. So yeah, I think my ponytail off, let's get this show on the road. I'm actually gonna go put this in my room, so I'll be right back. I did just realize that I didn't get another picture before I took my ponytail off, so that's great. My hair is also still wet for me wetting it before I left for the dorm party, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Again, it's still kind of wet from before I left the house. Like, look at this. Sorry if that's gross to some of y'all, but that's just like product. <laughs> Cause it never dried in my hair yet before I left the house. So my hair really has like tons of product in it right now. I say tons, but it's really just this stuff that I put in my hair before I left because I like that stuff. And I always take my spray bottle, put a little bit in there, wet my hair, and then put the stuff in just so my hair's not dry and it makes it easier to comb through and all that before I do like um, my edges and whatnot. Yeah, it's time for your girl to wash her hair. So this head itching. Yes ma'am, sis got that, sis got that good hair, you know. <laughs> I'm about to take these braids out real quick. Pro tip for you people doing your own hair or whatnot and you're braiding your hair and you put rubber bands in it. Use your oil, whatever oil you use for hair and like rub the oil and rubber bands before you put it in your hair, like before you tie your braid off. That way it doesn't pull your hair when you get ready to take it out. And if your hair is like mine, my hair like holds moisture really good. Like it doesn't just dry up real quick. And if it was to dry, it wouldn't break it out because of the oil that's in it. There's one braid down. I'm gonna speed through this little part right here while I take these braids down. All my braids are out, just full on curl. Look at that. That's what I got going on right now. I know I look crazy. And as you can see, I haven't done anything yet really. And look at look at the shrinkage, y'all. Look, look at how short my hair looks right now. But I promise, like, look how long it is. Like, my hair's got some good length to it, okay? It took a while to get here after, you know, we're not, we're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that. But yeah, 
We're gonna try this out. I'm trying to decide if I should wet my hair first or if I should just go ahead and put this in. I don't know. So I'm gonna try and read this to see what it says. See what works best. So here it says apply to soaking wet hair in small sections. Smooth each section with fingers beginning at the root and work towards the end. It says for additional moisture and curling definition, mix with can to coconut curling cream. That's this stuff. But this is what I'm about to try out. This is the stuff I already used. This is what I'm gonna try. I'm not trying to soaking wet my hair. So I'm starting to regret this already. Okay. I guess we can speed through while I do this because I'm gonna have to wet my hair and yada yada yada. Also, before I speed through, I just wanna say that I never fill my bottle all the way up. I just fill it to about however much I think I'm gonna use in the time I'm doing my hair because when I'm finished, I like to pour it out, spray everything out of this. I don't wanna just leave the water sitting in my bottle. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but. Also, I store this, I have like a big container that I keep all my hair products in and I, this like lays in there and I just don't want any leaking or anything or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna speak through this. Okay, so it's pretty wet right now. As you can see, it's pretty soaked. It said soaking wet. I feel like it's soaked. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my hair. If you look here, it's like a, a jelly, like oozy texture to it. See that? Like, it's like really gooey. So I'm just gonna take a generous amount of this, like that much to start with. It says to section your hair, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna start with the tops. And I'm just gonna rub it through. Actually, I'm gonna grab some more. It has like a slimy feel to it. Oh, I just dropped it on my shirt. I should not have worn my new shirt to do this, but we're already here, it's too late. Oh, I wonder if my diffuser would make this look better. I feel like it would, only thing is, my diffuser is packed somewhere in my car, so I'm not about to go find that. Also, if you didn't know, I'm the type of person who does not like putting stuff in her hair. Like, I do not like product in my hair, which you could probably tell in some of the videos. Like, if I'm just running out or something, I'm not about to get all dressed up. Like, that's not me. So if y'all ever see me out in public and I look crazy, just know that I only planned on being out for a little minute and your girl wasn't about to do her hair. Like, I do not like putting stuff in my hair. And I've been like that for the longest. Like, my mom used to always be like, she'd be like, put some jam or gel in your hair or something and lay it down. I was like, no. <laughs> like, I don't like putting stuff in my hair. As I've gotten older though and I've started taking better care of my hair, I've become more into like products for natural hair and things like that. But still like, if it's not like something to do with my natural hair or if I'm not going out to somewhere like something big, I'm not most likely putting anything in my hair. I do not like putting product in my hair. <sighs> Y'all, actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I probably, should have washed my hair before I do this simply because I completely forgot that today, I just said I don't like pocket my hair. Today was the day when I went to the little dorm party thing that I put some gel on my hair to hold it up while I have a ponytail in it and I completely forgot that it was in my hair. So that's probably another reason why my hair is feeling weird like this. We're gonna see how this turns out. If it doesn't turn out how I planned, I'll probably try it again and do it after I wash my hair or something um, and see how it holds up then. We're already here, we're already starting. So we're just gonna go with it right now. Can y'all see my hair, the curls? Very defined. My hair compared to my little sister Mariah's hair, her hair, her curls are very, are very like, kinky coil like they're tight like she has really tight curls my curls aren't as tight also like it looks like I'll have a lot of hair especially when my hair when I have my ponytails in but in all honesty like if you have all my hair together and you like hold it it's actually pretty thin it just look it has a lot of what's the word I'm looking for volume definition I don't know what your what the word is that I'm looking for but it, it, it's deceiving like it looks like I just have thick thick hair but it's in all honesty it's like really thin especially when you're like gripping it compared to my sister's hair, definitely. So right now I'm just combing through the curls, making sure that my hair's not tangled. Like I said, my hair has some length to it. Like it's pretty long, but when it's wet, this is why I don't want my curls often because when my hair is wet and then it dries up, it just shrinks. Shrinkage is real. So 
we're trying out this new curl product to hold that the whole point of this segment or session or whatever you want to call this part of the video is to see how this curl activator holds see if it holds my hair uh, holds the curl so I'll probably wear my hair like this the rest of the day and see how it holds up it's only it's only 745 so it's not it's late but it's not too late for me to like kind of test it out you know it'll dry up before it's time for me to go to bed. Usually when I'm detangling my hair, you always want to start from the ends and then go up to the roots. But before I left and put my ponytail in, I had already kind of detangled it. So it's not really like tangled up right now. So it's easier for me to comb through right now. I hate detangling the back simply because I can't see the back. I cannot wait until me and Andrew move because I'm about to have me my own separate like beauty area if that makes sense like I want to have my own little section just for my hair simply and my makeup so I don't have to be in the way and I can just leave my stuff in my area you know right now um, I don't really have anywhere to put all my stuff and it's really irritating as you can see <laughs> what is this like it's already like strong like it's already small again like is this just the life of a black girl like it doesn't matter which what, what I do my curls are gonna shrink <laughs> It's really frustrating. This is why I don't wear my hair curly out because I don't like the length it is when it shrinks. If it sh if my hair was to shrink and it would be like this length right here, then that would be fine. Why can't it just freeze where I put it? I don't, but it's like an awkward length to me where it, when it shrinks, like I can style it and put like maybe some braids on the side and then have it flipped over. Y'all let me know. Can y'all see that? My hair is pretty much combed out. I'm just gonna part it. This is how I used to part my hair when I used to get perms as a kid. Perms that I never needed. Like I said, my hair is curly. So my mom would straighten my hair by the end of the day and it wouldn't be straight anymore. It'd be curled up and, and better. So I finally convinced her to let me get a perm when I was younger. Obviously it's different now. I mean, there's not an inch of perm in my hair. My curls are back. I could always part my hair over here on the side. I would wear it down. Like you see that my hair is like a weird length. I need to get it like cut professionally. I usually cut my own hair but I should probably go get it cut professionally in the near future I just don't be trusting nobody with my hair man. like my hair my eyebrows those are things that you don't play with you know like I don't just trust anybody to do those as well this is what we're looking like right now I don't know is this what you curly headed people do go through all the time when you wear your hair down like and you put product in it like I just feel Ugh, I don't like it touching me. Maybe when it dries it gets better, but I don't know. Like what if I had on like a shirt up here and it's all over my shirt? Like is that gonna ruin my shirt? I don't know. And like I'm grabbing my hair right now. Again, like it's really, really thin. And like I said, like this is, my hair is not thick at all. It looks like a lot, but it's not as thick as people think it looks. I have the product in my hair. This is what it looks like. It's still kind of short. Honestly, I haven't seen my hair like this in a while. Like honestly, I don't hate the way it looks like this. I don't hate it. It came a long way because it was shorter than this at a point in time, but it's still not at the length like I want it to be. Plus again, it's like, it's, it needs to be professionally cut because like this part's shorter than the back. I mean, it's long, but it's shorter than the back. Like as you can see, the back comes down and the front, it, it need, I want it to meet the same length. I don't want it layered. <laughs> so this is what we're working with right now. I'm gonna test this product out, see how long, Let's see if it shrinks any lower than this. So right now, let's see. Right now, with my hair basically pulled a little bit to the front from the back, this is where we're at right now. It's about right here, right at my neck, basically. We're gonna see if my hair shrinks any more than this. If it does, I can't say I'm not gonna recommend the product. Again, I have gel in my hair and I completely forgot to put that in there. Cause like I said, like I said, I don't normally put stuff in my hair. I completely forgot I did put that in there today. So we're gonna see how it works with the product I already had in my hair, test it out. I'll probably try it again, but I'll let y'all know by the end of the night, you know, how this held up. There's a freaking gnat in here and it's driving me crazy, but I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay y'all, I'm back. This has been, I think it was like seven something the last time I talked to you. Right now it is 11.32. So it's been about four hours since I first put the curl stuff in my hair. Um, as you can see, the last time it was like right at my neck. It actually is still pretty much at my neck. So I'm very pleased with that. It actually looks a lot better to me now that it has dried a little bit. To be honest, again, it's been four hours, but the back of my hair still isn't completely dry. It could be because I had it like pinned a little bit because it was just in my face, but the back is not completely dry. 
dry. My hair is also really good at holding moisture, so that could also be a reason why it's not completely dry yet. But for the most part, the product, product it is pretty decent, I would say. I actually like the way it kind of looks, and I actually feel like I would be kind of comfortable wearing my hair like this. I feel like it's giving very much grown woman grown woman ish type ish you know <laughs> but yeah i'm i really don't get me wrong i've always loved my hair i'm just not offended like when it's at that awkward length you know and you're trying to wear it naturally and curly i think my face is too round for my hair to be like really short beautiful on some women me personally my face and everything i don't like it on me but this right here is actually like I like it on me. I like it. I like it. Again, my hair is a little awkwardly cut. I need to get it like professionally trimmed and shaped and everything so that my hair will try to grow at the same rate and the same length and all that. But again, for the most part, love the way it looks. So I might be trying this style in the near future, wearing it just like this actually. Maybe pin this side up or like have this part behind my ear tucked away or something. I don't know. But yeah i'm feeling it i would recommend the product i'll leave it down below if you want to find it yourself i just found it in my local walmart and i've seen it at the hair store also so i'm sure anywhere you can get hair products you'll be able to find it it's very affordable i think it was probably like eight dollars so yeah y'all go check that out but i have edited this vlog pretty much up until this point i was gonna keep the vlog going for like the next day or two but i looked at how much footage i had already and i'm like already over 19 minutes so i'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here if you guys have not already please be sure to subscribe to my channel also give this video a thumbs up and like my niece emory said so if if you want to see the next video all you gotta do is click the bell button I love you guys so, 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 so very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.